Yes. And in three, two, one. Hey Look, guys, man. and welcome to episode 50 of the Break Time Podcast. I'm Alex. I am Iman. And thank you very, very much for tuning in to this very historical, this very, uh, what, what's the word? This very monumental monumental episode of Break Time. Guys, for those of y'all who might be tuning in for the very first time, Break Time is a podcast that Minimon started obviously 50 episodes ago. I think a year ago at this point, almost. Well over a year ago. Where over, over we started year. off just wanting to keep up with our lives, what's going on, just talk, give our opinion on <laughs> stuff that's going on in the world. Iman's dying, and <laughs> Fuck, dude. Um, and uh, you know, it just started off as we just wanted to talk about stuff, have a good time, and it's great. We've had a lot of great guests on. We've had a lot of great people who support our podcast. It's not super huge, but we appreciate all of you. And really quick, before we jump into everything, guys, as usual, you can go to the link in the description. Uh, I I think I might have a breakdown of what questions we answer at what times. Um. Uh, and you can skip around to hear the answers to different questions. Also, link to our Teespring store if you want to support the podcast in that way. Uh, guys, so in case you don't already know, Iman, what are we doing for this podcast? What's going on? So uh, so this, this podcast, uh, the idea of this podcast underwent a lot of changes as the idea was developing. The first idea we had was to have a straight-up classic OG Irish pub-style fucking drink-off. Um, Alex thought he could drink me under the table. I thought I could drink Alex under the table. I still think I can, but we won't know because we opted to not do that. Instead, we didn't want to die. We didn't want to fucking die because we know our ego. We would have just competed until one of we us killed We would have fucking over. died. That would have been so stupid. Yeah. Uh, so instead, we're still going to drink, but we're going to uh, answer some viewer questions while we drink. Uh, and the idea is the more intoxicated we get, the more honest and open we're going to become with the questions. So super exciting shit, man. I'm glad you guys made it to episode 50. Thank you guys so much. Alex, I got to shake your fucking hand, dude. I, it's like Christmas, dude. Yeah, man, it's great. It's like Christmas, I was man. so excited about this all week. Yeah. Now that we're here and doing it, I'm mad excited. It's... Mad pumped. Mad, uh, just everything. Hold mad, on, real just quick, mad. Real quick, Go let's ahead, just bro. fucking deep breath in. Deep breath out, dude. No guest. Just, just me and you back one, in the dude. saddle, making it work. <laughs> all right, guys, so like Iman said, it. how this is going to work is we have eight rounds, and every round... Uh, is a set of questions that we're going to answer, and we're going to take a shot for every round. So eight shots in total. We're also chasing it and drinking uh, some Dos Equis as well. So hopefully, again, we're going to get drunk. Neither of us have eaten a whole lot, so hopefully that helps as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, Iman, are you ready, bro? I'm ready as fuck, dude. Okay, so, hop into you know, I, I guess we're just going to skip the week recap. We're just going to jump into this shit, right? Yeah, just this, jump into uh, this shit. This is what everyone's waiting for. Momentum's great. Okay, so, guys, we're starting. Again, thank you very much for tuning in. This is the break time drunk podcast hope you guys enjoy yes. okay iman alex round one so we have a shot of crown cool man that we're gonna take um it's not super filled up mainly because i just wanted to kind of ease us into it first um uh, and because i didn't want to kill all the crown in the first shot um <laughs> okay so Iman, round one we have four questions to answer we're gonna start off by taking this shot you ready absolutely to episode 50 let's do it all righty <clears throat> Round one, four questions. I'll ask these first two, then you can ask the next two, okay? Cool, man. First question. What made you guys best friends? What made us best friends? Yes. So, uh, I'll just give a little recap of how it even happened. Go so, ahead. fifth grade year, uh, show up to fifth grade, life is great, I'm chilling. Um, I meet my new class. For the most part, everyone's cool as shit. Uh, until about the third day... Uh, we finally get our assigned seats for lunch, and we're we're sat. Just so happened that we're sat. We're, we we sit right across from each other, um, and so I go to my seat. Third day at lunch, fifth grade. Life is fucking great. I'm I'm the man. I was the man back in back in uh, elementary school, and so you know I'm going, sit down. Everything's great. I'm talking to the people, but then I notice this fuck across the table is just shitting on everybody. This fuck, I appreciate. <laughs> this kid across the table is just shitting on everybody. Right, cracking jokes and shit. And so two days pass. Like he's cracking roasting jokes, everybody he's like roasting. Michael Scott. Yeah. Roasting. Ray, you're roasting, fat. Roasting. Roasting the shit out of everybody. And so he gets to me and he makes fun of the fact that I used to wear an earring back in the fifth grade. I still wear an earring now. Habits don't change. And so um, I get fed up, right? And so uh, after lunch, he's sitting there and we're talking. And it's, uh, it's amongst a group of friends. And he's still like making fun of me, calling me a, uh, calling me like a girl and shit because I had an earring on. And then uh, I go, 
You calling me a girl, but you you the one with the bitch tits, and everybody <laughs> got a laugh. Everybody started laughing, and then it was like, oh shit, I don't know. It was like, man, man I like you, this fucking kid. You roasted that guy. <laughs> you roasted that guy. Yeah, and I was got like, him. I, I like this him. kid, and I assume he thought the same. And so we kicked it off, man, and started talking about video games. And now, well over ten years later, we're doing a podcast. Hell yeah. So. I mean, uh, yeah, what Iman said, and then I think what made us best friends was just like, we have a really good, like, we have a real good banter, we have a real good sense of humor, we can mm-hmm. bounce off each other. I don't want to go too much more into it other than that, because that might encroach into another question we're going to have in a little bit. Okay. But uh, yeah, but essentially that's how we became best friends, like Iman said. That's how we met, and then slowly we became best friends, did a lot of cool projects together throughout school, mm-hmm. and like Iman said, now we're doing the podcast. Uh, Iman, here's the next question. What's up, man? Why did y'all decide to decide to start a podcast? And just so you know, these were copied directly from people who uh, who sent them to us. So they're they're the idiot, not me. Um, but Iman, why, why did we decide to start a podcast, in your opinion? Or we have ideas, man. As narcissistic as it sounds, we think that we're uh, I don't want to say above intelligence over people, but I think that we are intelligent people. Yeah, I think we have some very, pretty good perspective on things. Yeah, in perspective, yeah. and we have a, a lot of opinions on things as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, things as well. So uh, I was, we, we used to work together. Uh, about a year, year and a half or so ago, and uh, we used to ride around in a work truck all day and sell water softeners. And uh, we're talking, and every day we'd have a deep ass intellectual conversation and shit. And uh, one day I just went, "Yo, man, why the fuck are we not like documenting these conversations we're having?" Definitely. And I went, "Man, let's let's get a fucking podcast going." Then a week later, we're doing break time. Hell yeah! And uh, like like Iman said, or, or like you're saying, um. The the whole thing did start like because we had ideas that we want to share, but also for me it was also really cool to think that like oh in however many years I have this project that I can go back and look on where I have at this point over a year's worth of my thoughts and my feelings and what I was going through and obviously you know these uh, these past was that my thing mm-hmm. my uh, these past uh, two years have been um, or this past year has been really instrumental in how we've changed you know what I mean yeah man. like we started this a year ago and we were both in super different places and now we're in totally different place you have a great relationship and someone that you're with uh i had a great one that i lost and no i'm kidding uh i just love to make that joke um (laughs) but the point is like it's cool to see us grow as people and have that that we can always kind of fall back on and take a look at you know yeah um i I think that's really cool so i'm on uh these next two questions you want to go ahead and read let's get it man go ahead and pour them shots up my friend no no no. we're still on the first round oh the last two questions of the first round yeah there's four cool look at me jumping the gun and shit what is your advice to those wanting to start a podcast? So uh, I think I would say um, the biggest thing is just like, you know, there's some people who will discourage you. Like like there's a, a whole thing where like podcasts are really big right now. And everyone's all like, well, any any idiot with a phone can start a podcast and all that. And that's true. But if you genuinely think that you have good content and you just get some decent mics or something or, you know, if you want to do a test episode where you don't necessarily have mics, just go off phone audio or something, just do it. Like just if you have something interesting to say, do it and don't let anything hold you back from that. Mm-hmm. Um, but also just make sure that you kind of do something to make yourself stand out and make sure your content is not only relevant, but that your content is can stand apart from other people's content. So you're not doing the same exact thing like you can't be another brilliant idiot you can't be another joe rogan right you can't be another like rooster teeth podcast you can't yeah you can't be bill burr you can't be serial you can't be um uh daily struggle or whatever the fuck you right that one's a podcast too no yeah it was it was it was um so but you can't you can't always be the same shit you got to kind of break the mold do something different anymore yeah i mean break the mold do something different but above all else you have to treat this like any other project you've ever encountered before you got to do it with a level of discipline and consistency uh, which is what we struggle with sometimes, but we sometimes yeah. we got definitely a lot better. We actually stuck to our New Year's resolution, which was to maintain a more consistent schedule. Yeah, when we release and the we podcast. pretty much have, but every now and then we'll have a bye week just because it's impossible to right. do it. Or especially or, these with past the 10. guests, that's, that yeah. that was also really hard scheduling wise. Fuck um, yeah, it's a lot easier when it's just the two of us. But yeah, yeah, so just just be consistent because it's not about uh, you know, it's not about just putting content out every day. It's about respecting the people that tune in every week and giving them something to watch and. Uh, it really shows appreciation for the people that are viewing your shit, man. So be consistent, be disciplined, and keep doing it. I thought you were about to just down that shit, nah, man. Bro. And what's like the next question? I think there's savage. one more, right, in that one? One more, man. What should you look for in a fellow host? Uh, I mean, kind of like we mentioned earlier, and I, like I said, that's why I wanted to wait to go too much for, further into it. Me and you have a great back and forth, and if you want to start a podcast with somebody or a show with someone and you're looking for a host, you, I would think you'd want to get someone where you have that back and forth. Yeah. You know, like some things like radio, you kind of have a dominant force, like the host, yeah. and you have like the, the sidekicks kind of thing. For me, in a podcast, you don't necessarily want that. I mean, the, you might always have someone who's dominant if you have a multiple-person podcast, 
But for me, you always want to have a good back and forth with someone to where you're on an equal level and there's never like a one-sided conversation. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I mean, even if you don't want to have a, uh, even if you don't want it to be on an equal level, honestly, as fucked up as it sounds, well, not even fucked up, but just, um, you just need somebody who you can bounce your ideas off of. Uh, that's if you want to host. You could be like a Bill Burr or a Chris Delia and just talking to a void of nothingness yeah, and it'd be funny crazy. as fuck. It's, still, it's fucking hilarious. Um, but if you don't want to go that route, if you want to do the host thing, just make sure, one, they can commit to it as much as you want to be committed to it, uh, which is probably the hardest thing to find. Yeah, because there's a lot of people who can be like, bro, I want you on my podcast. It's a whole other thing to go, I want you to do a consistent, a consistent podcast with me every single fucking week. You know what I mean? Every single fucking week, yeah. So that's that's probably the biggest thing you're going to encounter. Like, we're both super into it, and we want to do it every week, and we still run into just scheduling yeah. and life. Yeah, man. So just um, make sure the the fucking host can be as consistent and as disciplined and dedicated to it as you can. And um, regardless of your personalities, I feel like if you could tackle that big thing first, the rest will fall in place, man. Or women, whoever is asking these questions. There you go, my friend. Definitely, definitely. So, guys, that was round one. Easy questions, some softballs, just getting it started for us. We are on the way to round two. We are having a shot of uh, Chris Williams, Kentucky. What the fuck? Kentucky. Uh, sorry, I was, just, I was. was. this was given to me yesterday. What's the percentage of this, it. my friend? I don't know, bro. So, Chris Williams, Kentucky, straight bourbon, whiskey. Uh, I love myself some whiskey. Whiskey's fucking great. I love getting whiskey drunk. Uh, I don't know what the consistency is on here. Um, it's just on the front and at the bottom. Yeah, uh, this one. 43% alcohol. Cool, man. And then the crown that we drank, I believe, I think crowns are on the same. 40% alcohol. So this one's actually a little bit more. Um, and actually, while we're doing it, let me just see what this one is. This one is 21% alcohol volume. Wow, this is actually the bitchiest one. No, <laughs> fucking Malibu? Yeah, man. I mean, whiskey does have a lot of fucking alcohol in it, bro. Whiskey's like straight, bro. Oh, this is, I smell this shit. It smells like a fucking fruity margarita, dude. We'll take this one next just to get out of the way. <laughs> we'll maybe stick I with these. Think we should waste our time. I mean, let's at least have one because we, we went and got it. Um, but these are de I'm this downstairs. this one's definitely <laughs> this one's definitely the one that's gonna get us fucked up. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we are moving on to round two. The questions are getting a little more. There's still some fun questions, but we got eight rounds altogether. Uh, Iman, uh, you ready to take the shot, buddy? Yeah, let's, we gotta get fucked up. I'm feeling sober and it's, it's making me nervous. Nah, hey, we're good, bro. We're good. Just wait because we're gonna get to the fourth shot. We're gonna be like, fuck, we gotta finish. All right. It's going to creep up dude. on you. I'm also sorry if while I'm sipping that or slurping that, y'all can hear a little bit of it. I apologize. Uh, you ready, man? Let's hit it, man. Ready. Two. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Two. Round two. Mm. That was a healthy shot, dude. Oh. That was a healthy shot. That was actually pretty smooth. Really okay. smooth. Yeah. Okay. Round two. Sorry. I'm just trying to get that shot out of my mouth. I fucking love that feeling, dude. Yeah, but <sighs> I think I'm an alcoholic. Uh, I could be. Sometimes, like, I'll be sitting with people, and if I take shots with anybody, we'll both take a shot, and they're like, Ugh, yeah, I took a shot. And I'm always like, like, I'll let it sit in my mouth, and I'm like, mm, fucking great. Like, well, that film uh, burn, right? Yeah, bro. Oh, okay, round two. Uh, this question is actually, because uh, this wasn't submitted anonymously, so I think I can say it. Uh, this question is actually submitted by our friend Brooke, our first guest, uh, who's really great. Fucking Brooke. Uh, if you can have, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? But it has to be a power that spontaneously activates, which means a power that uh, that you have no control over. Essentially, at least that's how I read that. Wow. So again, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? But it has to be a power that spontaneously activates. So it just kind of happens whenever. Happens whenever. Yeah, I, I have oh one. God, do, do, dude. do you want a second to think about it, and I'll tell you mine. Go ahead, man. Yeah. So mine would be. Um, like, uh, just the ability to read people. Okay. Like, not necessarily, like, mind read. I don't want to do that. But, like, read, like, how they're feeling and stuff. Uh, you know, because that could be really cool in situations where, like, you know, if I'm doing charity work, you know, uh, know how someone feels, know what level I need to be on to help them out. Yeah. If I'm selling, know how someone feels, know what level I need to be at to win that sale or to earn their business. You don't control it, um, though, my friend. But it just – so it just happens whenever. Okay. So, but I'm saying, like, there to me, there are a bunch of situations – where if it happens, it could be helpful. Yeah. Now, there are also situations where that could be not helpful. Like, what if you just had sex with a girl and it, <sighs> you were really bad, and then you happen to read her, and she's like, "Man, that was really bad. That's gonna really fuck bad. up your your, your I night." Be destroyed. Yep. Yep. Okay. I be destroyed. Uh, what? Did, can you think of one? 
Um, when it spontaneously activates a power. That spontaneously active Dude, I guess the power to fly, because why not? Power to fly. So at any fly. point during the day, you're just going to fucking go up into the air? Well, no. <laughs> no. I, I can control, what if you're outside? I can control the power to fly, but my ability to fly won't be controlled. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you would just fly, but then you would be able to control once you're flying. No, so I, I guess I get a feeling like, oh, shit, I can fly now, motherfucker. And then I'll just take off. You know what I mean? I would see it more as like you're walking, and all of a sudden you're like, man, gotta hurry up and get to work, and oh shit. That'd be the dumbest <laughs> shit. <laughs> that one's a hard one. That's because a this hard spon- ass question. The spontaneous nature of it, like it just yeah. fucking happens. I can't even answer the first half of that question minus the spontaneous part. Yeah. So that, that one's hard. So flying, I guess, is what you're gonna stick with. And Still mine would flying. be the ability to read people. Cause spontaneously, I feel like it's not gonna be destructive enough to my everyday life to where it's gonna fuck me up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not gonna float into the air. Uh, Imam, I'll ask the next question. Can you double check that? Make sure we're still rolling. Yeah, man, of course. Okay. So while Iman's checking that, still good. All righty. I will go ahead and read our next question. Uh, this one is also from Bro- from Brooke. Uh, this one's an easy one. What a burger or In and Out? What a burger. What a burger. Yeah, yeah. what a burger. I just in, in, fucking Texas. Yeah, In and Out is. I think it's pretty good. Like price wise, it's great because it's pretty cheap and it's pretty fast. But like, don't fill you up like a fucking water burger. Only been there up. once three years ago. Wasn't so, that? I mean, obviously you didn't go back, so exactly. I've gone there a few times. It's something like you want to grab, like you just want something cheap and quick. Exactly. Um, but it's no Whataburger. I mean, and motherfuckers who ask the question, dude, who 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 will say uh, when people ask that question, and it's clear they're leaning towards like In and Out or some shit. Ask him, okay, when's the last time this month? How many times have you gone to In and Out versus Whataburger? Usually they've gone to Whataburger a lot more, despite it, despite it being more uh, expensive. Oh yeah. And it, it's fucking Texas, it, It's man. one of those things where even though Whataburger is more expensive than In-N-Out, you can't deny the quality's better. It's you just can't. a better fucking all-around experience in burger. It's the fucking culture. If you want to side with In-N-Out just to be a different little hipster, fuck you. Damn, me months. And I don't even fuck with either of them that heavily, but you know what I'm saying? It's but Whataburger is definitely better. Yeah. yeah they host- I fuck with Whataburger hard. Like, exactly. I fucking love Whataburger. Um, you ready for the next one? Yeah, man. Getting all so, heated and shit. Yeah, I know. This round's, this round's uh, really quick, those first two. This one, hopefully, um, is a little more. Um, what is your most memorable podcast? Most memorable podcast. You know what podcast always comes to mind? What's up, bud? Just because I really enjoy doing it. Hmm. The Halloween special. That was a fucking good that episode. That was dope. That was a great episode. That was beyond dope. And the 420 special. It's... it's mm. No, I'm sorry. It's the 420 special. 420 special. 420. I really special. like that one. The story is great in it. The the con- that that whole episode was great. I really liked it. Now, uh, I have two answers. Uh, I, one one of my answers is the actual answer. The other one's uh, memorable for a different reason. Um, I'll go with the one that's kind of like not my actual answer. But the first one that comes to mind is the Hanging with Los Henry sucks podcast. And the reason that's so memorable is because. We did it, and in the podcast, you're like, I don't want to fucking talk about Hanging with Los Henrys. That's one of our most viewed podcasts because yeah. it pops up when people go down the rabbit hole oh, of looking yeah. up Los, Los Henrys stuff. And it's it's memorable in that sense where, like, we didn't want to talk about it, but it ended up being kind of good, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, it was a really good podcast, but then people really responded to it, and a lot of people find us there. So I think that's super cool. Like, I can always see, like, when someone comments on that video, and then we get uh, their subscription, and I'm like, that's fucking I, cool. It's, that, it's, it's really, really cool. Uh, but the, the one that, like, I remember – like really vividly is um the saint patrick's day episode episode oh, like oh wow that was 39 dope. i think it was i don't remember it was a saint patrick's day special we filmed it one uh, the only podcast that wasn't filmed here yeah yeah that was our first abroad podcast abroad podcast we were in our austin texas hotel room downtown austin right next to sixth street uh last day of spring last saturday of spring break uh, or last last friday of spring break uh, St. Patrick's Day on 6th Street during South by Southwest. It was yeah. fucking ridiculous. Yeah, so it like... Almost got trampled. But yeah, well, prior. the bar hopping part wasn't that great. We really didn't get super drunk like we wanted to, but it was great, like, sharing my first cigar with, with Iman and uh, getting to hang out there doing a, doing a really fun podcast uh, from our hotel room there. It was just fun. All around, it was a really fun time. That was dope. Yeah. I gotta change my answer, though. Go ahead, bro. So, yeah, you, you swayed me. The the St. Patrick's Day, that, was, that one was pretty heavy. That was dope. So that one... And the one where we had my girlfriend on. Oh, <laughs> that was, dang! That saving was, yourself, saving yourself. Yeah, man, it Damn. was a it was a nation divided after that, man. Locking in that blowjob. Had job. a lot of motherfuckers on 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 on. <laughs> what'd you say? Locking in that blowjob. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, it was it was a nation divided, man. Because for weeks after, dude, I had like motherfuckers coming up to me, like I'm, I'd say like they were randoms, but people like friends and shit who were 
some sided with y'all, some sided with me. My fucking parents that was were getting great in on it. It was just a Your lot of really to do. Your yeah, girl really great. Your girl was really great. I was proud of her. You killed that episode. It was, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, that that was a dope episode. That and the St. Patrick's Day one. Okay. Uh, sorry, I didn't let you read these next two months. I'm sorry. Why don't you read that last one for me? Okay. Sorry. This is round two. Right? Yeah, round two. Last question right there. What is your uh favorite alcoholic beverage? Favorite alcoholic beverage, Iman? Do you does you have one that comes to mind? Yeah. Yeah. Um It's gotta be, man, just mm, mm. It's uh I was gonna say E and J. I I grew up on E and J. Since the age of two, my parents had me drinking E and J at the bottle. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> no nah, man. Oh god shit. Liberty Creek, baby. Really? Liberty Creek, okay. baby. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say <laughs> Liberty, why. Liberty Creek, baby. I was about to say it's not a reason why or anything. Uh, yeah, it's a reason Liberty. why, my oh, man. Oh, okay. You, know, you want to leave it at it's, that? It's a wine. It's a wine. Okay. And it gets you really fucking horny. <laughs> it, gets you really, it gets you really horny and aggressive. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Come on. What does that equal? It what, what equals a great round of Fortnite. Exactly. And that's what's going I fucking on. got the high score twice, dude. <laughs> But Liberty Creek, so for obvious reasons. Mine is to when I first started drinking, my buddy Brandon introduced right introduced okay. me to uh, uh, old fashioned, hmm. an old fashioned, and I uh, love to have a nice old fashioned. They're really they're they're great. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, some nice bourbon in it. It's, it's great. It's a great drink. Mm. And going off that, uh, like just my favorite like alcoholic beverage in general is usually just a whiskey and coke. Um, whiskey and coke. I just because I like coke. I also like whiskey because. Mm. You know, especially like you're shooting whiskey or something, it gets you drunk relatively fast. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you yeah. feel it a lot more. And like, I don't drink just to sit around and drink and have a beer in my hand. I drink because I'm trying to fucking get, get somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, we're reaching destinations here, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was my favorite. That was my favorite. What I like about real, real, real quick, what I yeah, like man. about Liberty Creek, man, is uh, it's the it's just the novelty of it, dude. You, yeah, yeah. We get the shit. We go to motherfucking Murphy's or any other uh, grocery store or gas station. That whole bottle will cost you no more than eight bucks, dude. I got it for seven something dollars, man. Go ahead and have a sip if you'd like. Uh, it's delicious, dude. Now nah, I want to mix it while I'm drinking. Go ahead, man. I'm gonna mix whiskey. that shit, dude. Oh, okay. Here you just go. on. There you just go. For good luck, you know. Chug the whole bottle. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. You ready, Iman? Absolutely, my friend. We're gonna go round two, guys. So we have finished round one and two. Or I'm sorry, we finished round one and two. We're gonna go to round three. Let's go ahead and get us. Fuck that vodka. Some of this Malibu. No, no, no. Let's do one shot of Malibu vodka. Mix it. <laughs> nah, bro. Let's just take it. Just take it. Just take right. it. I appreciate you, sister, Ebony, for getting me this, uh, or letting me use your vodka. Oh, my dumb ass forgot liquor stores close on Sunday. Thanks, Jesus. But <laughs> Is that just a Texas thing? Or is that nationwide? I thought it was just it a Texas, Texas thing. thing. Texas is all fucking conservative. And it probably is, because they, they sell heavy liquor in Walmart in, like, Louisiana. How much you got left? So. Of your Dos Equis. Quite a bit. I well, think so. we got about the same. Yeah, we got about the same. Why you want to take the shot and then finish off the Dos Equis? Yeah, dude. Take the shot and then we'll chuck the Dos Equis, finish two. it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm fucking savage. Okay, man. so guys, this is going to go into round three. And Iman, uh, this shot is to round three. You ready? Let's get it, man. Oh. Yeah, fuck that. God damn Ebony! Hold on. <laughs> You're trying to make uh, me... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Dave, do it right. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just slammed my fucking head inside. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, man. Hold on. I can't... Stop, man. <laughs> go ahead. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Don't fucking uh, do your thing, dude. Dude, dude, I, I'm, I'm putting it over here. Oh, shit. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Just get, you're good, bro. You're good. Go ahead. Read that shit, man. Huh? Read that shit? Just read the questions. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So while Iman's finishing that, I'll start round three. First question. So for those of y'all who uh, may not have fully uh, been paying attention or in case I didn't say it, uh, we just had a shot of Malibu vodka, and then we both finished chugging the rest of our Dos Equis. We have two more cans of Dos Equis ready for us. This is fucking sadistic, dude. To help what Chase. Uh, yeah, bro. Again, I'm not feeling sadistic. it just yet, but I know towards the end we're going to... It's going to fucking hit us. Um, okay, so... Uh, round three. The guess... Uh, oh, the guess you love 
to keep having back question mark so i guess what guests do you love to keep having back, back. um iman do you have an answer right off the bat i uh, we really don't have a lot of repeat guests mm-hmm. so i my answer is kind of someone i would like to have back on i would but. like to have back tyler yes i was gonna say that i have two answers i was in case you said it but yeah because tyler was so short changed in his episode time wise because yeah that episode that we had tyler on we were trying to go for a 45 minute podcast Mm -hmm. filmed it realized that we crunched it way too much our podcasts are more natural and organic when they're about an hour hour 15 and that's just how it is and tyler really got kind of short changed on his episode and i feel really bad about that and tyler's also really fucking fun to talk to bro he's dope and he's so fucking educated man and he's well traveled and i actually we had somebody who's uh Who's under the age of you know thirty that I really respect their opinion. You know what I mean? Oh, definitely. He's a really smart dude. Uh, definitely. And he got really uh, he got really shortchanged, man. Mm-hmm. He was unfortunately a part of a uh, very experimental episode. We should have just waited and just experimented with us two first. Yeah. Before we had a guest, but fuck it, he'll be back. Well, that was like in the middle of guest week or y- guest yeah. like two months. <laughs> yeah, that was two months right of guest. At the beginning. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll have him back, and he's kind of the reason we're doing this, dude. Yeah, bro. It was Tyler's yeah. episode. Where we mentioned like that we were gonna go at it and drink on this episode, but yeah, yeah. but yeah, but Tyler, so Tyler, he's, get he's great having on. Yeah, I have one other one. Uh, Brooke, I really loved having Brooke on. Yeah, she was great to talk to and everything, and I would love to have her back on and talk uh, more about her stuff. And because I'm I'm following her on Instagram all the time, she's constantly doing cool she's shit. Doing cool shit, and lot, she's man. like, she seems like someone who's just similar to Tyler, like very well traveled, going out, like very uh, educated in her field of what she's doing. And I think that's really interesting. I'd love to have her back on at some point. Hell yeah. Um, okay. Has there been anything oh, that had shit. to be cut in a podcast? It's about to get hella controversial. Has there here. been anything that had to be cut in a podcast? Second question, round three. Uh, do you want me to say it? Well, I mean, well, oh, there are two the things. First one first. There are we'll two the things. First one. Yeah, I'll, do, I'll talk I'll about talk... that one. I'll talk about what fucked me up, and you talk about what fucked okay. you up, okay? So, uh, I forgot what episode it was, but there was one of our episodes where we discussed... Oh, so, during the H&M uh, kind of controversy that came up, uh, H&M was under fire because they had a photo on their website advertising a shirt uh, that uh, uh, in the advertisement. It was a young African-American boy was wearing the shirt, and uh, the shirt said, or the sweatshirt said, like, coolest monkey in the jungle implying that and people took that as like they were calling the black kid a monkey yeah right and in the middle of that episode there's a part where we just got done talking about that topic iman gets up to go to the bathroom no no no. Uh, it was the top it was the uh, podcast where brianna yanez was on oh okay we yeah we had talked about it but you got up to go to the bathroom or someone got up to go to the bathroom she did oh she did well something happened where someone got up to go to the bathroom and iman said something to me and I said like uh, I said I said like oh yeah you too my little monkey or some shit like that. <laughs> I don't want to laugh. But <laughs> but I all said our, that all of our black viewers are tuning out and, and looking up your address. I said that and immediately like like it was not like my immediate intention was not to draw a parallel to that story. I was just like like oh my little monkey like I was trying to be cute about it, but yeah, then yeah, it yeah. hit me immediately that I I without knowing it. Called you a monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right after we just talked about that story, oh, yeah. and I remember you looked at me and you said, "We like you said in the episode because I remember cutting it." You said, "Should we cut that out?" Like you said it yeah. immediately after I said it, and then as I was editing it the next day, you were like, "You know what? Just fuck it, leave it." And you said that in the episode, and then the next day you said, "Hey man, my parents are gonna watch that. Other people are gonna watch it, and I think it's just safe for the both of us if we just cut that out." Yeah. So like, there's like a three, there's like a five, six second skip uh, from when I said that and when he went, "Should we cut that? Fuck it, whatever." Mm-hmm. So well, that was the mean- first one. No, it was after the episode. I was like, "Hey, man, I don't. I, that's not a good. Just cut that out." You know what yeah, I mean? when I was editing it, you texted me. Oh, okay. You said, "Let's cut it out." But uh, but yeah, that What's was that. Other? What's yours? That was you that. And then mine. Uh, so back to my twenty first. I'm always bringing this fucking. I don't want to be that guy who's harping on the past, like my twenty first birthday. But yeah, I'm always bro. bringing it up because there's but because so many fucking so many cool shit happened. So much. So many. So much. Yeah. Uh, fuck. So much cool shit happened that night. Look, if you hate on me for bringing up my 21st birthday a lot, then fuck you, because you could never do something that even half as well can parallel that, man. Yeah, the fuck cops you. called four times. We had a, It was a fucking riot, so fuck you. I'm going to keep bringing it up. Anyway, um, so at the 21st birthday party, man, when, it was, when, the, when the big-ass train came, a group of like six, five, six fucking uh, bloods walked in, gang members. Uh, I shouldn't have even said that. Well, anyway... We're not editing this shit out. Yeah, no, no, no. Just go. So uh, they walk in. I can feel it a little bit, bro. Yeah, same. I'm feeling good. Go ahead. You can't tell. Uh, they walk in. 
Uh, and the, the vibe is good. They're not really tripping or anything, but they're kind of giving everybody else in the party a weird vibe because it's a group of fucking blood to walk in. They're kind of sticking to themselves. They're not really saying shit. And it's my fucking house, and there's, there's a riot in my fucking house. So I'm, I'm approaching everybody, and I'm trying to... You know, I'm talking to people. I'm talking to people. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to, like, get everyone's fucking name and shit, right? Mm-hmm. And so uh, I walk up to them, and I'm like... Hey man, uh, how you doing, brother? Uh, my name's Iman. Nice to meet you, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my house, man. I got got beer in the fridge, uh, liquors in the kitchen. Got fine bras everywhere, man. Enjoy. Hey, but what's, what's your name, man? What's your name? This motherfucker goes. I forgot what, but he gives me some nickname. Like like a street name. Like a fucking street name. Yeah, like not like his actual like and birth. I'm like, Yo, name. I give you my fucking name. Give me your fucking name. So I'm like, Yo, yeah. no, fuck. Give me a. Give me. Because you were telling that on that episode, you, you were like, your whole thing was like. Like you're at my place, you're I'm letting you in place. here. I'm letting you, you in. Yeah, I'm letting you come in here to smoke your weed, right? And and to drink my alcohol. You at least you tell me your fucking give me name. Your fucking name. Yeah. So I kind of, I don't know if I sounded heated or what, but I was like, give me your fucking government name. Fuck that. Give me give me your government name. And it was all well, but on the podcast, it I guess sounded like confrontational. We referred to them, or you referred to them. I as, was kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you were very confrontational. Like you were like, fuck those guys. Why they do that? And then because yeah, in the moment, I was I was a little heated in the moment. Not gonna sit and lie to you, but. All was well, but I didn't. I didn't make that known on the podcast, and so it sounded like I was starting some beef with fucking Bloods on the podcast. Can I tell you what you called them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the whole thing was the guy said like, "Oh, I'm little, I'm little something," or he said he said Lil and then something like that was that was his street name, and Iman went. His name was Lil something. I don't want to say. I don't want to call the guy out, so we'll call him Lil Dookie Juice. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> so with that whole episode referring to this gang member as Lil Dookie Juice, Dookie Juice, we let out that full episode, and then I guess Iman's parents listened to the episodes. My and dad got so yeah, and pissed, he, Iman dude. calls me while I was at work, and he goes, "Bro, my mom and dad are freaking out. We need to cut that and re-upload it." So I did cut it, re-uploaded it immediately. They're probably gonna get mad at this. And uh, but we, we gotta be transparent. I know. Episode. Look, man. Um, if you bang, man, I have no, I have no quarrels with you. I have no issue with you. Uh, just like they won't respect you want a little bit of respect in your it's home it's not even that man fuck it dude, I just, I'm just telling a story about what happened man this is no disrespect <laughs> wait, I don't wait, wanna wait, fucking wage a war with any fucking gang members do your thing keep banging just don't bang anywhere near my house and we're good damn okay we're straight Iman uh, what are Isaac's two questions cause he sent us two questions yeah, let me see. Remember? Uh, yeah, I don't not, know how to work this new not a, not a peasant iPhone dude this is a yeah I'm sitting there. I'm used to my peasant iPhone uh, right, bro uh, I'm feeling it <laughs> Man. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, I think Ethan. Oh, shit. Ethan sent some questions. Just Round nine in this right bitch, now? dude. Fuck. Well, how many questions did he send you? Let, let me see. The que- ah, fuck. Question. We're only taking two of his questions, three. bro. He said three. He said oh, three. We're, only okay. We're only taking two. We're only taking two. We can only take two. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's do Isaac's and Let's do Isaac's right now. We'll do Ethan's next round. Okay. So what are Isaac's two questions that he asked? Um, Fuck, man. Oh, this is a good one. What are you saying? We gotta go through them a little fast because we're not even halfway through and we're 30 minutes in. Oh, we're straight, dude. What was the hardest time in your life emotionally and mentally, and how did you get through it? Isaac with the hard-hitting questions. Yeah, can I, can I take this real quick? You have it, man. So, uh, mine, uh, if you watch our podcast a lot, you know that uh, I broke up with a long-term girlfriend of mine pr- fairly recently, and uh, it was really shitty. And, uh, of course, when it happened, I was like, man, like, you know, I, uh, I didn't want that to be the case. I didn't want that to happen. And um, it was really hard for me, and I did deal with it in a bad way. I uh, I would uh, I drank every night. I had a bottle of Jack um, that I would have under my or near my bed, and I would buy a new one every time I'd run out. And essentially, for like a week, every night I would go home and drink that bottle and just sip on it till I got drunk enough to fall asleep because I couldn't go to sleep. And then I went to the doctor, and they said like, "Hey, Alex, uh, they did some blood work on me, and they're like, hey, Alex, your liver is like three times worse than it needs to be.'" Um, and the reason I'm even mentioning that is because that was a really hard time in my life, probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to deal with. Um, and I dealt with it incorrectly. And I know that I dealt with it incorrectly. And if I could go back, I would definitely change that. God, look, you can tell I'm feeling it. I'm hitting the table. Are you feeling it? Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. I'm feeling, feeling it. like a Um And I dealt with that incorrectly. And I understand that. Um, but it was something that I, I feel like I needed to do that in that way at that time so that I could learn and I can grow as a person. Um, so I definitely, at the time, dealt with that incorrectly. Um, but that is how I dealt with it. And just to answer the question, to be truthful, that's what happened. Um, now I would do it differently and I know that I shouldn't rely on alcohol for that. Um, but that's just at the time. That's what happened. But Iman, what you, you buddy. That's dope, man. That's dope. You, you know, like I said, man, you handle that shit like a champ. You I felt it champ. immediately and I was like, oh, now it's time to be honest, Alex. I'm about to get real here myself, Woo! man. Go ahead, man. Uh, go ahead. Go so ahead. my, so my family has a deep, deep history of depression. I had close family members who were uh, put in mental hospitals. 
uh, had close family members who suffered like nervous breakdowns and shit. Depression runs deep in my family, right? Uh, and so I never really had a bout until I had something that triggered it. And what triggered it for me was a uh, pretty bad concussion that I had my uh, freshman year of high school. I'm so fucked up. My freshman year of high school. Uh, and this I is round. Football. Is this round three? I hope not. Oh, I think this is fucking this round is the intermission three, between bro. Round four. We're gonna die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it easy on this. Uh, but look, we're being honest. It yeah. worked. It's a cute little fishy that just swam by. So it was um, football practice, a regular day of football practice. I go in. Uh, I was a linebacker. I was a fucking beast. I go in. Uh, the last play I remember was uh, the the fullback in the. I'm sorry, the running back is doing a sweep, which means he's going to run to the outside. He's guarded by the fullback. Uh, they're running. Uh, I'm running towards him. I crouch real low. I get super low. I'm fucking flying at him, and then crack. All I hear is a loud crack, and then the crowd go ooh. The the, the guys on the sideline watching, they go ooh, and I was out. I blacked out for a second. I was really Fuck. fucked up, and I felt my spine compressed. Um, and so I come to, and I'm laughing it off, <laughs> all is well, all is well. Um, but then immediately after, I get real faint. I get real fucked up. I'm not feeling too hot. I'm not feeling like myself. I get dizzy and shit. I almost pass out. I walk off the field, go to the sideline, and I'm on the floor, and I'm fucking not on the floor, but I'm bent over, and I'm <sighs> hyperventilating and shit. Yeah. I, I, can't, I can't catch. I don't know what the fuck's going on with me. And so uh, my buddy comes up. He's like, you good, man? I'm like, I'm straight. I shake it off. It's football. Everybody gets their fucking butt rock. Mm-hmm. And so practice progresses, and I'm just feeling like more and more just worse, dude. And so I get sent home, uh, and then I didn't eat for the fucking three days after that. Uh, I just did not feel like myself, but there was no fucking answer. I wasn't aware that I had fucking brain damage. Like, there was just no answer to why I was mm-hmm. feeling the way I was. I was like, fuck, I'm just fucking crazy. And so that triggered a deep, deep depression, man. I didn't eat for three days. And then for the following year, I was really, really fucking depressed. And I... I can't tell you how I got out. Uh, well, I can't. I, the way I got out was a combination of of, of uh, supplements, right? Trying different supplements, changing my diet and shit. Uh, support because you're very natural. Like yeah. as far as like wanting to better yourself, you try to go the natural avenue. Absolutely. As far as like doing those things that are going to help you, those chemical imbalances or those healthy a- or physical aspects of your body naturally right yeah. yeah and so i went about it naturally that helped big time i found a lot of supplements that's why i lift weights these days that's why i'm so healthy that's why i fucking that's why i know so much about vitamins do vitamins of the week because of that incident um but the worst part about it man was the suicidal thoughts dude that shit fucked me up because i had never dealt with that before yeah. and i had no control over it they were just popping in my brain and every every scenario in life was a scenario to how i could fucking like end it or some shit it was creepy as fuck yeah. um and so like guys like Anthony Bourdain, I'm gonna hurry this up. Guys like Anthony no, Bourdain, good, I good. see why they they off themselves because they don't have a fucking support system. Yeah. I can tell you now. They don't have people that are there. If I didn't have a proper support system, I can't promise you. You know what I'm saying? I understand. I was yeah. really fucked up. So a good support yeah. system got me out of it, man. So whatever the fuck you're going through, I gotta say the best thing to have is a solid, solid, solid. Just someone to talk to. People system. that are there. Yeah, people man, that are gonna help parents, you through that. Yeah. Good friends, a therapist. Do what the fuck you got to do, yeah. man. Don't leave that shit in here. You got to let it out. Yeah. That's what helped me big time. Just patience. I had to wait And you got to let those people in. Because that was yeah. part of my issue. And I was talking about like my drinking thing. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want to face those feelings at face value. Yeah. I was like, I'm just going to drink so I don't feel it. And, yeah, man. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that was a really great question. Thank you, man. He had one more as well. Yeah, for the... Um, what was it? What was the other question? <laughs> or should we skip it for the sake of time? Because we still got a... I was going to get Dr. Augustus in here for the next round. Dr. Augustus, uh, let's just do this one and then... Let's answer it quickly. We'll answer and then it quickly. If, we, if we come across a dumb one, we'll skip that one. Okay, that's fine. Because this is a really good one. What do you think makes a guy an alpha male? Uh, can we answer this one quickly? Yeah, I mean... Um, what makes a guy an alpha male? I mean, it also depends on like why you want that definition or like why you think that that is important to be an alpha male. I understand like in some situations, like like let's say sexually, sometimes a guy wants to be the alpha male, or sometimes a guy is an alpha male in the sense of like he's leading a team or he's leading a charge or he's the boss. I think what makes someone an alpha male personally is uh, someone who's willing to take charge and be. Uh, th- there has to be a level of I don't give a shit. Yeah. when being an alpha male like you have to go like this is my decision 
That's my decision. Yeah. That's what I fucking said. Do it. And I know that that's the best decision. And it might not, you know, I mean, because you hear about it, like in sports and in like business stuff, everyone's always like, this guy made a crazy ass decision. Nobody wanted to listen to him, but it works out. Yeah. And alpha male is someone who knows that they're right no matter the, the, the odds and that yeah. they're willing to make that stand. That That's how I see an alpha male. But go ahead. Good, man. I see, I see somebody as an... I think you're, what you described is a great example of a leader. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there, I mean, a leader is not And that's just normally how I see alpha, alpha male. Like, in, in the context of my head, okay, that's why I see alpha male. But go um, ahead. So, in my mind, an alpha male can be anybody. It could be the fucking leader of the president, the, the leader of the country to a fucking crippled guy in a wheelchair. Uh, but I heard this from Elliot Hulse, man. He says an alpha male, and I really, really reason with it. He says that an alpha male is somebody who's really, really comfortable with themselves and believes in the vision of their own life. Meaning the uh, their morals, right? Uh, what they what they agree with and disagree with, their beliefs. Uh, they're willing to die with their beliefs. Strict and morals gonna, is what you're saying. Strict morals, yeah. And they're not going to bend to the will or beliefs of anybody else. Definitely. Somebody who's truly comfortable in their own skin, I feel, is an alpha male, and that uh, has good intent behind okay. their actions. That's an alpha male. So All righty, guys. Iman, you want to pull up those other questions? Um, and yeah, actually, here, Iman, it's round three. while I get ready for round three, can you go get Dr. Augustus? Yeah, man. Uh, so, guys, can I explain vitamin of the week real quick? Absolutely. Let me guys, He's a little late. Sorry. So, while Iman's getting Dr. Augustus, I'll explain. Uh, so, guys, if y'all have been listening to Break Time since the beginning, we have this segment that's been on a little hiatus recently, but it's called Vitamins of the Week. And normally we had a guest come in. His name is Dr. Augustus. He would come in. Tell us about a certain vitamin, a certain supplement, something that's going to help you out in your life and help you live a better life, a healthier life, a more full life, whether it's helping you physically, mentally, maybe it's helping you with, uh, you know, bowel movements or some bullshit. It's just, just something that's going to help better your life, again, physically and or mentally. So we have Dr. Augustus coming in today to give us the best fucking vitamin slash stuff. I don't know what it is. I'll let him explain it. But he's coming in today to give us one of the best vitamins of the week that we had. So guys... Welcome to Vitamins of the Week. I'm going to do the theme song real quick. I normally do and as Dr. Gus comes in. And that theme song is... Vitamins of the Week. Ow! Dr. Augustus! Everyone's clapping. Dr. Gus is coming in. Guys, guys. Everyone calm down. Calm down, Dr. Gus. Maria, Maria, if you know that I have a place to be, please assure that I have a place to park my helicopter. I'm not going to... I pay you for a reason. Don't fuck it up, okay? Doctor Gustus, Doctor Gustus, assistance, Gustin. dude. I <laughs> know it's fine. I, I know, I know. Iman went over there dealing with your yeah. helicopter situation. Is he okay? He's fucking. Is he good? Iman, what have you guys he's, been? He's you guys been good. sipping. We've been sipping, but Iman's a little, you know. But he's he's gonna be good. So Doctor Gustus, fucking. Okay. I appreciate you coming by today. It's my understanding. Iman was telling me he was super excited. It's a shame he can't be here. Yeah. But he was super excited about what you have coming in today. He been, he's been telling me about this. Right. He's been telling me about this. So what what is it? What is it? And we're running a little low on time. So if you could Absolutely. I'll speak tell us up. a little l- little quickly for our viewers what it is real quick. We'll go ahead and take it. And then I want you to do this round with me, if you don't mind. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, yeah. fuck it. I guess I can operate a helicopter. Yeah, go, drunk, ahead. Right? go ahead. Uh, look, uh, first off, first and foremost, I got to congratulate you guys on the 50th episode. Yeah. I recall coming into this rinky-dinky ass set thinking these guys can are not going to last. Can I see the questions last. real quick while you're going? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thinking these guys are not going to last. But you guys really uh, proved me wrong. It never happens often. So I, I, I congratulate you guys. I come to you today bearing a little, uh, what we call aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac? Aphrodisiac, my friend. Aphrodisiac? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, What I have today is a little suppy duppy, a little supplement called horny goat weed. Can I see it? So horny goat weed is a phytoestrogen. Literally called horny goat weed. Horny goat weed. It's like not a street name. That's what's on the fucking bottle. GNC, horny men's horny goat weed. Yeah. Good. Uh, so it's called it's it's a horny goat weed is a phytoestrogen, meaning it has estrogen like properties. And for all my non dumb fucks out there, what happens in your body when a <laughs> oh, hormone is introduced? Your body must maintain homeostasis, right? We're only so taking for one of these, right? One of these each, right? Uh, take two. Take two. two of them each. Yes, sir. Uh, go okay. ahead and take two. I'll take two with you, my friend. Uh, go ahead and give me or two, two. Yeah, no, I got you. Sorry. Uh, listen, so. So for men, homeostasis means balance, right? If something raises, something has to be raised in, as well to balance it out, right? And so for men, when men have a raise in estrogen or phytoestrogen, their testosterone must also be raised to balance out the estrogen being uh, risen, risen. Uh, so what happens when your testosterone gets raised? 
you get a little more pep in your step, you get more confident, you put on more muscle mass, you lose some fat, and your fucking sex drive goes through the roof. And that's what the benefit of horny goat weed is. Okay. The phytoestrogens cause your testosterone to So good to sex raise. drive. Good sex drive. Yeah. I can tell we're really, really low on time. Yeah. Listen. Well, I mean, we got like we got like 25 minutes. But still oh, like we're good. but we still got like like the, we're about to go into round 4 and we have eight rounds. Okay. I'll check so. the battery and I'll have one of your assistants check the battery. We'll, 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 be, good. we'll, we'll, good. we'll be good. I mean, uh, just as long as we're at a good pace, we're good. Yeah, so if you're looking to fuck, okay, if you want a risen sex drive. Your boy's always looking to fuck. Always. Always. Looking always, to fuck. always. Uh then get yourself some horny motherfucking goat weed. So, Doctor Augustus, my understanding, we're gonna take this together right now. Correct? Absolutely. Right? Let's go ahead and toast to this horny goat weed. So you know? we uh we um take this, drink it, or are we supposed to chew it, or we swallow this capsule? Oh, just swallow it, my friend. Swallow it. Swallow it. Yeah. Okay. We got some good psyche, so I'll just Okay, yeah. So let's uh take both of them one at a time, or at the same time. I'll take same it one time. at a time. I'll take it one at a time because I don't want it to fuck me up. Oh. Like it caught in my throat. I'm a bitch. It's I'm cute. sorry. Um, you man, you boy's a bitch. Okay. You ready, Doctor Augustus? Let's get it. Let's go. Good stuff, my people. Good stuff. It's good to be back, man. Does um, any of this on here say you shouldn't take it with alcohol? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah, we already it's did. It's fine. Uh, sorry, I hate to cut the short, man. I got a lecture in Cambridge. I gotta get fucked. That's going. fine. Iman, Doctor Gus is about to go. Okay, you got it. Can you? Okay, I kept, I kept Dr. Gus warm for yeah, you, buddy. He, he's gonna he, he's gonna meet you. you, you hey, careful, man. Yeah, yeah. He's nice. gonna get you with your assistant. Y'all are gonna go back to your helicopter. So, guys, well, uh, Iman saying bye, Doctor. Oh, they look they're hugging over there. So, while uh, Iman saying goodbye to Doctor Augustus. Um, well, I think our sponsor. No, I'm kidding. We don't have a sponsor. <laughs> uh, Iman, you good? Uh, what's up? No, nah, I just uh, you got his helicopter situation figured out, right? Yeah, I fucking love that guy. Perfect. He's the man, dude. Bro, this round's gonna be relatively fast because not that we're running low on time, but I do want to steamroll through these. Um, we got another few that we're gonna do. So these ones, let's answer a little fast. They're easier to answer, so we cool, should be man. good. So round four, Iman, you ready? Let's. Oh shit, we got more shots. Yeah, let's bro, it. you ready? Fuck. Iman, to round four. To life. What's this shit? Oh, he's stuck there. Oh, yeah, you can take it next time. Sorry, you didn't get to take it this time. Fuck. Okay, whatever. It's all good. Okay, Iman, uh, I'll read these just for the sake yeah, of time. Man. Iman, this question is specifically for you. What is the worst text and or snap that you accidentally sent someone? Shout out to my man Ty. My motherfucking man yeah, Ty, Ty sent, sent this one. This shit. I fuck with you, man. He was the first to send a question. Has this the happened most to you? risque thing that I've sent. Accidentally was... or on purpose? Oh, he said accidentally. He said accidentally, but I figure you might not have that scenario. Yeah, like, I don't. if you don't, what's the most risque thing you've sent? Man, a dick pic to a chick that I treated terribly. Mm. And if you're watching this, I, I fucking apologize. I was an asshole. I was an asshole. Look, man, uh, mending bridges. That's what break time does to people. Give me some fingers. Does, fingers. Dude. Listen, I was an asshole. We had some good times. I fucked you over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I respect you immensely. But I sent a few dick pics. Um. Luckily, she didn't use them to get comeuppance or anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that was the most risque thing. Yeah, that was the most. And it was my first dick pic I ever sent. It was really, uh, it was an interesting time, man. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Iman, we're gonna move on. Th these next three should be easy to answer pretty quickly. Iman, how much would you have to be paid to kiss a man? To kiss this a is, man. This is for both of us. I'm just, I'm just saying your name. So, how much? You, you, fucking Johan asked this. Fucking Johan. <laughs> how much would you have to be paid to kiss a man? <laughs> Fuck, dude. Um, ah, what were we talking? Tongue kiss, peck? Let's go with just like, like a good amount of lippage. A good amount of lippage? Just what? so just strictly. I mean, not not a peck, but like, like, like you know, a little bit uh, more than a peck. Give me a little fucking. More. Give me a hundred, two hundred. I'm. I'm about to say, fine. I was in theater. Peck? I was in theater. I, know, I can do it for a hundred, two hundred bucks. Yeah, we, yeah. If you're talking tongue, that's a different story. But yeah, uh, no, if you're talking tongue, that's like five hundred thousand bucks around there. Like that's. Yeah, and I assume you're gonna pay me, so that's why yeah, I. I just kissed a man last night. <laughs> no, so last oh, night, yeah, real quick, real quick. Last <laughs> night, uh, we were hanging out at Vanessa and Herbie's house for a little barbecue. We we're having pre-birthday barbecue for me, and uh, uh, their friend David, who's now our friend, he's an artist, great guy. Um, so me and him were taking shots together, and something happened where uh, someone mentioned something, and I said, "Oh, I'll just fucking kiss David." They said, "No, you won't." So I got up, and I was drunk at this point, but theater skills <laughs> theater skills bro okay. i grabbed him by his face and i put my thumb right in front of his of lips at the last second of course. and i looked like i went to fucking town everybody thought i went to fucking town on david and i kissed the shit out of him but no i didn't <laughs> don't real david no totally different david totally different david uh all righty guys uh iman how many people Good constitute question. an orgy uh, three or more three or more no 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 no, no, no. five four, four. I, I was gonna say five okay because four could be a sw two swinger couples 
which isn't it's necessarily an orgy. orgy. I don't think it's still an orgy. I think it could be three swinger couples if we were gonna do it like that. I mean, I, I guess you're right. I, I I'm gonna say five. Five is for the me. way I constitute it is if I walked in on something, what looks the most fucked up? If I see three people having sex, ah, it's a threesome. If I see four people having sex, then we're like, ooh, I just saw an orgy. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with a hard five. You're going with four. I'm going with four. Man. Going with four. Going with four. Alrighty. Uh, Slow down, dude. We're good, man. Well, no, because these are really easy. Okay. I'm not tr- The other ones we'll talk through, but these are just so okay. fucking. Uh, <laughs> would you ever partake in an orgy? Fuck yeah, I would. I would do some nasty shit, man, just to have a story to tell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your boy wouldn't. I you wouldn't. wouldn't. Now, nah, I'm the type of person where I only really want to do something with someone if I genuinely like vibe with them or like okay. if I feel something with them, and I don't want to. I, I don't think I would feel comfortable enough to do like that kind of thing. So, I respect but that. that's just me. That's just me. Yeah. Alrighty, course. Iman, we're going in round five. Do you want to do another shot of the... Fuck, get this shit off my table, actually. Okay, well... We'll replace it with some Liberty Creek. We're going with... Uh, we're not going to... We're not, not going to take it, oh, but just okay. to fill the space. Gonna... Yeah, I got you. All right, we're going <laughs> to... We're going to go with more Evan Williams Kentucky bourbon yeah, whiskey. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my man, Elvin. El, uh, Evan Williams. Evan. Shout out to my man, Evan. I'm fucked up. Yeah, bro, me too. You are? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I might have given you a little bit more than me. You sorry. Dirty... Ish. Ready? You ready? Yes. Go, go, go. Two, five. Oh, God. Ugh. And we're watching. Ugh. And the worst part is we're chasing it with fucking beer. Yeah. Um. All righty. <laughs> Round five. Yeah, let's hit it, what man. is your biggest regret? My biggest regret? Biggest regret. Biggest regret. Oh, fuck me, man. My. Go ahead. Answer that one first. I mean, uh, biggest regret. I think my biggest regret would be, um, not taking, I mean, my, my biggest regret like of recent is just probably not taking my breakup with a little more stride. Hmm. Cause I definitely let it tear me down a little more than I probably should have. And the Hmm. type of person I am, I'm very much like, who gives a fuck? Just go with it. Deal with it. You know, I very much have that toxic masculinity thing going on where I'm like, Hey, don't cry. You're a man. And Hmm. don't this, you're a man. I, I just, not necessarily just because of that, but I feel like I could have, Definitely dealt with it a little more gracefully and not mm. let it consume me as much as it did. But that's fine. What's yours, bud? My biggest regret is discovering porn- uh, pornography when I did. At a young age? At a young age. I got hooked on that shit. And mm. to this day, it fucks me over. It fucks me over. Sometimes I have sex, can't get it up. I'm so desensitized. Do you have a hard time coming? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 Me too. Yeah. yeah. I, know, I know a lot of friends and, do. Lot and lot that could definitely that be from... I think it is. I try from... not to be. Yeah, well, because, like, middle school to early high school, there was even though I was in a relationship, yeah. there was definitely a time where, like, you just watched a lot of porn. Fuck and you jerked yeah, it dude. a lot. And then you – someone was talking to me about that recently, how uh, – because I had mentioned, like, I have a hard time, you know, finishing. Yeah. And something that – they were saying, like, oh, You're well, so sometimes... used to your hand in the Well, screen. not just that. Like, you're used to it being different, you yeah. know? And then when you finally get down to doing it for realsies, it's uh, kind of a uh, – Kind of a little different. But Can't bust it up, man. No. But, I mean, yeah, that's probably my biggest regret. But I say that kind of iffy because that instilled in me a lot of self-confidence. Yeah, you know I'm going to check the camera where you're going. Go for it, my friend. And if you can, check that battery life, dude, to see oh, if we have to keep rushing. I can't check the battery life. Fuck me. I have to turn it off. We're good. I, I think if we can finish it out in, like, the next 20 minutes, we're good. Ah, oh, it's such a crunch. 30. 30. We'll do our best. We'll do our best. We'll see. Let's be comfortable. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... um. I say kind of, I say that kind of iffy because uh, it instilled in me a lot of self confidence, right? A lot of men associate their manhood with their dick, whereas if uh, if my dick game ain't good this week, I'm still good because you know I got other attributes. Actually, other we features. might be sorry. I'm just saying we might be good because uh, the next few rounds have fewer questions. Good, dude. Go ahead. I gotta finish this fucking thing. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah. So I I associate I I I learned to uh, improve a lot more of my assets. Because my dick was so used to a screen that I couldn't get it to participate in a lot of my sexual activity. Makes you know sense. what I mean? So, Makes sense. And I've come to realize that a lot of motherfuckers are like that. A lot of my personal friends are like that. A lot of dudes are like that. That's why if I have a kid, I'm not going to have that motherfucker watching porn or anything like that. I'm going to do my best to prevent it. Right? Yeah, I get, you. So, I get you. Or at least instill in him that he shouldn't put so much eggs in that basket. Right, or buy him a prostitute. We'll God. cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's get to these uh, next Okay. Round. What gossip? It's still round five. What gossip about yourself has made you laugh? Um, do you have a question, answer? Or? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Probably uh, our gay rumors. That's true. That's true. Why does that make you laugh, though? <laughs> this is so fucking funny. I Just checked the camera, we... and I, for- I forgot that I checked it. Like, I don't know if it's running. 
Oh shit, let me I got you. I mean it's running on my on my watch, but I checked it and I don't even fucking it. Is it good? <laughs> is it good? It's great, bro. This is what I we want. This is what we want. I just don't know what the no, fuck no, is no, happening. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening right now? All right. Okay, bro. Problem. So the gay rumors, right? That was the thing. Like just, in middle school, we had gay rumors. We got called in the principal's office Yeah. for dude. gay rumors because somebody said we're being too open with our gay relationship. Cause in some, middle school. Some bitch <laughs> named No, got, it wasn't. A yes, it was. <laughs> Forget that I said that some bitch. Why did she told that? people that we, we were gay? We I know we didn't talk to her. her. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck anyway. you. <laughs> so this chick told everybody that we were gay, and the rumors got what around. It was her. It, no, it was her. I know it was her. Cause I remember my mom. I think my mom talked to her mom at one point. Oh, she <laughs> was a fucking thing. Oh. <laughs> So anyway, this girl said that we were gay and it got around so much. Meanie Mom got called in the principal's office in middle school and they were like, yo, y'all are being too open with your gay relationship and people are complaining. And I was like, we're not fucking gay. Are you guys being bullied or anything? I'm like, we only ass fuck five times a week and no one's complained up to this fucking point. And that's why the fact that we're so like, what makes me laugh is the how, how we fucking toyed with people. I said it in the podcast before, but we're the type of guys who are really <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, that's why. Nice question. No, no, no. But uh, oh, that one, and then another one personally for me okay. is uh, I've met people outside of high school <laughs> that um that think that like that had this thing about me where they're like, oh, you're always doing all this cool oh. stuff, and you were you seem like you were really dope in high school, and I didn't want to talk. Like I've had people tell me that they didn't want to talk to me in high school hmm. because they thought I was doing cool shit and I wouldn't give them the time of day. Hmm. And that was the little one that, like, to be honest, kind of struck my ego. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm glad, like, you thought highly about me and I was doing cool shit. But at the same time, it made me laugh because I was like, that's kind of bullshit. Like, like, you know, yeah, like, same. I feel like people put too much investment in me. And I think you had that, too. Yeah. Where people like, would tell you. We were kind of synonymous. And so, like, we were always yeah. doing shit together. And so, I don't know, man. I was just, uh, we do carry ourselves in a different way than a lot of our peers. You know what I mean? Definitely. Um, and so a lot of motherfuckers see us and see this abundant life that we have and get intimidated and think we're doing cool shit. And All we have the a fucking huge time, ego man. and uh, shit like that, man. And so I've had so many folks say to me, dude, I thought you were like a, a major douchebag, but like knowing you personally, you're actually pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, mm. I had someone tell me that recently. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The person I was talking with you about earlier, no, they no, told no, me that I recently. Know exactly. Who you're talking yeah. About. Uh, anyway, Iman, we have one more question. It's round five. Let's favorite cartoon, plan. favorite cartoon. What favorite cartoon movie Pretty slash scary, yo. <laughs> favorite cartoon movie slash show? What the fuck? Who sent this question in? I don't know. That's what you're wondering. I'm just gonna go with my favorite show. Uh, Netflix is Daredevil. I love that show. I can watch it over and over again. I think it's great. It's written well. Cinematography is amazing in it. I love that show. Iman, anything? favorite show? Twilight Zone, made in an early era, way ahead of its time. So artistically credible. It's fucking amazing. I love it. Twilight Zone. Perfect. End yes. of round five. Boom. Guys, going into round six right now. Uh, oh, I think. Fuck. These are also a little easier as well. So these are these next few rounds I think will go pretty quick. So round six, uh, Iman. Oh, shit. This yeah. is another shot of Evan Williams uh, bourbon whiskey. Evan, you're trying to fucking kill us, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay, you ready, Iman? Uh, to round six. Let's round go. Round to life. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, oh, yeah, we got to chase it. It's torture at this point. This isn't fun anymore. No one okay. Home. You ready, Iman? Yeah, it's ready, man. This question. Thoughts on those who have a crush on you. Thoughts on those who have a crush on me? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, my, uh, I'll just be open about it. My answer, because I, I had the, we had this question asked a couple days ago. I got to piss out of my dick real quick. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Right back, my friend. No, you're good. Uh, we had this question a couple days ago, and my initial answer was, uh, my response to someone who had a crush on me is, uh, my response was, like, fucking tell me. Like, let me know, because your boy's oblivious. You don't know shit. And, uh, you know, he's looking for some love right now and shit. Um, but recently, uh, I've met a nice a nice lady. We're, we're talking, hitting it off and stuff. Um, don't know how that'll work out, but, you know, that's not necessarily my answer anymore. As far as letting your boy know, but, you know, that was my answer, if that makes sense. I'm very feeling it right now, so that's, that's why it's going on. Now I'm going to stall while Iman is in the bathroom right now. 
Um, guys, again, thank you very much for tuning into this episode. Thank you very much for supporting us on these last couple of episodes of Break Time. Thank you very much for tuning into episode 50 of Break Time. And now Iman's back, so I don't have to keep bantering. But seriously, thank you for tuning in this many episodes. Hope you're enjoying this episode as well. Well, damn. Hope yeah, you're enjoying this episode as well while we're getting drunk and answering your fucking questions. Yeah. Um, so, Iman, I gave uh, mine. Uh, what the what fuck? Cost, but people have pressure. Uh, you, you said it already. You said thanks. thanks. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't okay. Uh, I feel like these questions were asked by fucking Dante. These next two. <laughs> I, love, I love you, Dante. You Sorry, bro. I'm throwing you under the bus. I know you asked the them through Ask FM to remain anonymous. But Dante went like, like I sent him a message like, Hey man, we're reaching out to our guests uh, so they can also send us questions. And he said, "Cool, I got these next few questions." Then he went, "Just sent my questions." <laughs> so he was not subtle. Uh, we'll try to go through these fast. Was JFK, Malcolm X, Martin oh, Luther King killed by our government? Was JFK, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King killed by our government? Let's try to answer this one fast. Just what do you think? Who's to say? Who, who's to say? At that time, the government was so corrupt, and white folks were so fucking corrupt. So it's fifty fucking fifty genuinely. So who is to say? Honestly, I've never looked into it too much, so I don't really give a fuck. You know what I mean? That was gonna be my answer. I don't give a fucking shit. Sorry. Anyway, next question. <laughs> well, so I love you, Dante. Love you, Dante. <laughs> Who's better, black, white, Asian, Latina women? Uh, I love my black women. You love your black women. I don't women? think I fucked any other woman aside from a black woman, dude. Really? I thought I've you. Had, would... I've dated a lot of women, but I've only fucked. Well, I fucked one. Okay. Uh, I gotta say, I swear to God, you told me. I did, about I did, him, so. I did, I did. Uh, but I, I love my black women. Yeah, bro. I don't know what it is. It's a soul. But go ahead, my friend. All right. Well, that was it. Uh, uh, no, well, I mean, bitch. no, no. For me, sorry. Oh. Uh, for me, um, I mean, I mean, I've only dated like a uh, Mexican, Latino women or whatever. All right, I've only uh, uh, that's all. That's all my experience is what I'm trying to say. So I don't know. I think uh, that's what I know. Um, I can't say what it, I'm not like Iman. I'm not swinging dick out here like Iman was yet. Uh, yet, uh, yeah, I'm not swinging dick out here like Iman was. So I'm not anymore. So. I don't know. You're not anymore. You're in a very stable. Uh, you said was past tense. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I did say was, uh, but that was it. So I don't really know. I don't know. Okay, guys. So we're at the home stretch here. We got two more rounds. Um, round seven and round eight. We are definitely feeling it. At, don't forget Ethan's question. At this man. fucking point, Ethan's questions. Oh fuck. Let's add Ethan's questions into round seven. Okay. Only two of his questions. Because okay. uh, w- what are we? We're at an hour and five minutes. If we can wrap up in like 15, we're good. We're good. Okay. Uh, fuck. 15 minutes and we still got to take two shots. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. Okay. <laughs> Why is everything so fucking funny? Uh, fuck. Oh, no. What? Uh, <laughs> I spelled it. I spelled it a little bit. <laughs> You gotta drink it. You gotta fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sound ugly ass laugh. I ugly ass laugh so fucking bad. Oh, the table's gonna be sticky and I didn't even come on it yet. I'm <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Hey, shut up for a second, man. Let's <laughs> Okay, bro. Round seven. This round seven. Fucking sadistic, dude. Round seven. Round seven. Yes. Come on. To round seven. To life. Huh. Oh god, fucking drop some of that one. Oh, it's gonna be so cringy in the morning, man. What the fuck are we doing? Oh yeah, we gotta chase it. Fuck your boy feels it. Yes, dude. Your boy's beyond feeling it. Same. I'm 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 uh I'm fuck. drunk. I'm drunk. I'm just yeah, no, I am too. I'm t- uh can you check it, bro? Yeah, dude. <laughs> You're a little better than I am. <laughs> Never done it. I got up once and I forgot, so you had to get up and do it. Fucking yeah, we're so good. Straight, so straight, so straight. Okay, guys, we're to ourselves. round seven. Yes. Break time episode uh, fifty. Fifty. Don't forget that one, man. Fifty is the episode fifty. Episode. Uh, let's ask Ethan's questions first. For uh, e- Ethan's e- um, Ethan's <laughs> questions. <laughs> oh fuck! Ew, bro, you nasty fuck. fuck. I'll pull these up. 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 Uh, question one. What's the first thing you think of when you think of success? And then after you answer, what is your actual idea of success? So what do we Those think Those are two of? questions. We'll take it as one. What's our idea of success? And then what do we think success really is? I've talked to Iman about this. And my idea of success is not about money. It's not about, um, you know, what job I have or how big my house is. What? Go ahead. Did he have a third question that was ridiculous? 
Yeah, good. Okay. So, but real quick, mine is like I t- I've told him on this. You good? You good? Can I answer? You fucked. Sorry, no. get out of the mic. Now, um, so my idea of success is not necessarily money wise or anything. It's it's having a family and friends, being happy, um, enjoying my life and living the fullest of the life that I have here on this earth. So it's not necessarily how much money I make, how much what car I have, where I live. It's about personally, like like to just to be a hundred and ten percent honest. It's about having a great wife that I get along with and that I love and shit. Having kids, having friends. I've told him on this multiple times because being completely open as I'm drunk. Yeah. Um. I told him on like in my head, my idea of what I think is successful is being in my backyard, having like a barbecue you with motherfucker. with ahead, Iman, dude. my wife, uh, Iman and his wife, and our kids running around and shit. That's what I would really want. Like that. That's uh, to me. Like if I reach that, I'm like I've done good in life. I can provide for a family and everything, and that's what I want. That that's genuinely what I want out of life. I'm a very simple guy at the end of the day. That is what I want. If I'm successful and I do other creative and great things, that's great. But that's genuinely like, like I will die happy if I can if I can do that. But Iman, about to make me fucking cry, dude. Go ahead, bro. The reason I say you motherfucker, man, I was just gonna say I don't I don't have an idea of what success is. I only have a picture of what success is. I think in pictures. You know what I mean? Yeah. So in my mind, the I the the picture that I have of me. Uh, It is still on Ethan's questions? It is. Okay, let me see. Just find where it says question two. The uh, the picture I have in my mind of of, of, of of me doing something that equates to success is me in my fucking backyard, on the patio, surrounded by friends and loved ones, smoking a cigar maybe, and just and just and just being surrounded by love abundantly from my kids, my beautiful wife, my friends, and everyone around me, man. And that's what I envision success to be. It's not about money. Money has no factor. It's about being happy. About being, being happy at the end of the day. Loved and happy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to skip question two. I, I want to go to question three. Okay. Ethan's question three <sighs> was, uh, what is the most shameful porn video you've watched in your life? I have my answer off the bat. <laughs> and fuck. Go I'm going to regret you, saying bitch. this shit in the morning. Go for it, you motherfucker. When you're surfing porn and you're looking at shit, oh, you, you find yourself going down a weird rabbit hole. And there was one time no where disclaimers. where it was like, uh, fuck, I don't want to say, say it. Say you bitch. No, nah, there was one say time. It. There was one time where like I was going through like, uh, like, like, you know, when you watch porn, like I said, you go down a rabbit hole and I click something that ended up being like it said something. I was like, there's no way that it's actually. Whoa. And it was. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but it wasn't that, like, I was getting off to that. It wasn't like, it wasn't like I, I was. No, it's just something your eyes happen to. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like, <laughs> and I'll click that. It was like, it was like. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it was like some bullshit. Fuck, dude. And, and I was like, I was, I was like, this is not real. Like, to be completely honest, like, I know I'm drunk and everything. But to be completely honest, it showed that. And I was like, I was like, this isn't fucking real. This isn't real. This is some, like. Some bullshit, like weird, weird fetish thing that they're putting out there for people who are into this shit. And I clicked it, and I was like, I gotta burn my fucking phone. Yeah. Because I think that's what it was. You can't tell me you you haven't ran into a similar situation. Yeah, poss- uh, yeah dude. I mean, <laughs> I think everybody's run into that kind of thing, bro. Where they accidentally stumble on like just something they shouldn't be looking at. Fuck yeah. And at that, I'll be honest, like that. And that's- every time it involves like Asians, dude. <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh God, <laughs> Asians are some freaky motherfuckers, yo. What the fuck, dude? So, Iman, do you have a different answer as far as like what your most? One video that I watched, dude, it was fucked up, man. It was fucked up. It was. Uh... <laughs> it, um, like you said, you you go down a fucking rabbit hole of fuck. clicking videos and links and links and videos and videos and links, dude. And I ended up on a video. Of this crazy white bitch, dude, and she put a cup. It gets to the other questions. Oh, put it, yeah. she put a cup on what? She put a cup in her fucking asshole, and she bent down and she put her her head behind her legs, right? And she got in the and then they they put like a uh, a platform, an eleva- uh, elevated platform, and they were standing on it, and they were playing playing uh putt putt. <laughs> I still feel like it's not as bad as mine. I feel so ashamed that I even but, fucking said that. No, listen, that, listen. That I stumbled upon no, fucking. 
Listen, he fucking stumbled upon it. And it And it We can't release this that fucking episode. I know, right? Uh, and he didn't get off to it, you motherfucking No, idiots. I didn't get off to it. It was it was honestly one of those things where I saw it and I went like this isn't a real fucking thing. This is exactly. one of those weird, like, exactly. like taboo, like weird ass things that they acted out. And I yes. clicked on it, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And I clicked it, shut off my phone. I was like, "The FBI is gonna come in here. I'm done." I, like, it's, um, I, I would imagine. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah. I mean, fucking two girls, one cup, all that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. You ready to move on? Next question. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. He's not a motherfucking. Hey, Ma, don't even fucking say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've already I'm explained sorry. myself. It was honestly just the thing that ha that came up, <laughs> and I, I was again. I was like, oh, this is like an acting thing. There's no way this is actually. <laughs> and it was, and that's just. I I wouldn't have said it if I didn't affirm that it's actually happened to other people too. So it's not just me. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> okay. What was your first time like? Be quick about it, Ma. What was your first time like? Oh, my first time. My first time was. Uh, it was weird. It was weird. I was dating a girl. Shout, shout out to that girl. I'm not sure if you're watching it. Shout out are. to that girl. Shout gonna, out to that shout, girl. I'm not gonna say her name. Shout out to you if you're watching. Uh, the first time was interesting. Uh, I was so fucking nervous. I couldn't get it up. Uh, and so couldn't get it up. She uh, went because she had to go house sit, right? And she went out and she was house sitting. But her friends came over, so she got a little, uh, a little high when she was house sitting, right? And so she came back. And then oh, it was the fucking, it was the quote of the fucking century. She goes, it was like, it was fucking like three in the morning. She comes back and I'm sitting, I'm chilling in my bed. And she's like, oh no, I'm high. And I was like, okay, what the fuck does that mean? And she was like, that means <laughs> I'm going to fucking, I'm going to rape you now. And I was like, oh wow. Okay, oh my fuck. God. We can't fucking release this episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, quiet. <laughs> finish it quickly. Finish it quickly. We're almost done. We're at the home stretch, bro. We're at the home stretch, bro. She goes, I'm going to rape you now. And I was like, okay. And it was the most consensual rape I've ever had. And we fucked till 6 in the morning. And we didn't sleep. And I took her home. And uh, it was gorgeous, dude. It was a beautiful night, man. <laughs> Your turn, bitch. Ask the question. Well, Ask my first time, it, it, was, it, it was fine. My first time was, I was very nervous. I couldn't, uh, <laughs> I couldn't finish during my first time. It was just... That was the situation. It was it. It was like I was nervous. I'd never done it before. It happened. It was with someone that I really uh, liked at the time, and um, yeah, couldn't couldn't finish because I was fucking nervous. I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say about my first time. Uh, Iman, I have one more question, but it's just for me. Uh, so this question was directed at me. Alex, do you ever feel uh, self conscious about being friends with Iman because of his physical appearance? No, you fucking asshole. He's my goddamn friend. I don't feel a god. Uh, fuck. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't feel intimidated by his appearance. I don't feel, the guy works on his body. He looks great. We're different people. Why would I feel intimidated? I don't get that fucking question. Hey, I'm listen, so listen. He could date easily the caliber of women that I date, based on his fucking personality. You're so fucking fast. So we about fucking this right now. equate. All right? Oh God. So back, back the fuck off. This is a. This is a bad motherfucker. Fuck biceps. Fuck abs. Fuck everything else. This is a bad motherfucker right here, yo. So uh, I love you for viewing. I love you, but fuck you for asking that question. Yeah, get I would, real. I would never feel self conscious. Get real about Iman. And vice versa. What was it again? Iman because of his physical it's appearance. Fucking physical Iman appearance. Iman works hard on that because that's who he is. That's Iman. His like he said before, his mecca is the gym. It makes him feel good. That's what he does. He Keeps doesn't. Insane. He that's doesn't it. do it. He doesn't do it to be vain. He does it because that's his thing. That's what he likes. He likes to grow himself mentally and physically. And just because I don't go to the gym or just because I'm not as ripped as Iman doesn't mean like I feel any inferior to him at all. We're I think we're equals. That's why we get along very well. We're just different people. Fuck yeah! I um, love you, but stupid question. Yeah, Iman. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Round eight. Last round. And we are an hour and sixteen in, so oh, that's perfect. Wow. Yeah, we're we just we're kill. at the home stretch. Only two questions in round eight, Imam. But we do have one last two pair of shots <laughs> left. This so, guys, is this torture. is our, this is our last round of Evan Williams, uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Right? Is this a straight? Straight Bourbon with fuck? I'm dropping all this shit. Imam, this is our very last shot Same of episode fifty. Fuck. Guys, thank you very much. These last two questions are uh, the hard hitting questions we wanted to leave for the end. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, we appreciate you watching again, and hope you you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, but Iman, to to round eight, to episode life. fifty of Break Time. <clears throat> ah, uh, uh, episode fifty. You see what we do for you people, huh? Fuck. Remember, like, 30 minutes ago and we were worried that we weren't going to get drunk enough? <laughs> okay. Mm. This first question is for me. The next one's for you. So, I'll answer this first one. <sighs> round eight. Last round of questions for episode 50 of Break Time. What actually happened with Alex and Serena? That is the question. That is my ex-girlfriend and everything. Um, I was very surprised about this question. This was actually the second question we fucking got. From yeah. the anonymous ask us uh, uh, the ask fuck a ask yeah ask that one FM. that one and fuck I felt that immediately I yeah. felt that shot fucking immediately it tastes like water <laughs> I didn't taste it <laughs> it tastes like water I can't form sentences um right to be completely honest with you I don't know if you're expecting like a juicy answer and everything but realistically at the end of the day what happened between me and my ex was just that um. We grew up together, and I think we just grew a little separately. Because hmm. uh, we had been dating since, like, eighth grade. And realistically, at the end of the day, she was happier doing something else. And maybe I wasn't fully exactly what she wanted. Or maybe, at the end of the day, it was just something where she felt she needed to grow in a different way. And I totally respect that. I totally understand that. I'm not upset by it. I mean, I was upset when it initially happened. But now I've made I've made peace with it. I understand. I understand that... We both have lives to live and we both only have limited time on this earth and we should be happy. And I'm glad she's happy doing what she's doing. I'm glad she's happy with whoever she's with or whatever she's doing. I'm and that's the God God's honest truth. I'm drunk, so I wouldn't even lie. Um, but I mean, w what happened at the end of the day is we just we grew apart. And that is what happened. And again, I'm sorry if you're expecting some big, long, drawn out, juicy answer or some drama. But that's for me. That's what happened. And that's where I'm going to leave it at. And she's happy. I'm happy doing me. I'm happy being the person that I am and the people that I'm hanging out with and the person that I might be spending time with right now. Um, and that's that's it. That's that, that's all that happened with that. And again, I'm sorry if you're expecting something else, but that's what it was. She's happy. I'm happy. And that's it. And I would like to say if this is the last time I'm going to harp on that. Um but Iman, oh, I want to fucking cry. Dude. Why are you gonna fucking cry? That hit, that hit me in a certain way. I don't know. I'm don't sorry. worry about it, bro. Don't I, fucking oh, worry fuck. about it. I'm about to cry. I'm Iman, crying. speaking of fuck, speaking of love and shit, this last question. Yeah, man, is about you. Last question. Yeah. Break time episode fifty. Is fuck, our dude. crying, <laughs> bro. <laughs> yeah, bro? Bro, come here, fingers, bro, fingers, bro, fingers, I'm fingers sorry, bro. Dude. You're good, fuck. bro. You're good. You're good. I know. You're good. I'm, good. I'm always good. Okay, we're at the home stretch, bro. Last yeah. question. Last question on you. That was just beautiful. No, you're good. you're good. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're a solid motherfucker, dude. I love you, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it a lot. Whew. Round there, eight. Last there. question. Last question of Break Time Episode 50. Thank you guys again for tuning in. This question's for Iman. Iman. I'm fucking crying, dude. Go ahead. Are Iman and his girlfriend in love? Whoo. I can't speak for her, man. But I'll speak for myself. Uh, my 21 years of living, okay? It's going to be good as fuck. In my 21 years of living, I've never... I've, I've experienced women. I've experienced vagina. I've experienced feminine energy. But I've never experienced an energy quite like Alexandra Noel Bevins. Mm. I love you so much. Uh, Damn, fuck. I think about you all the fucking time. And this is me being honest. Aside from my from my from my from my sober calculated bullshit of how the relationship should go and how masculine and feminine and energy if this is me being animalistic and fucking real fucking real You mean the fucking world to me and I will honestly fucking die for you You know what I mean? I know what you mean bro You know what I mean you fucking I know, been there I, I know would what you mean bro die for you and know that every sentence I say, with every fucking move I make, with every intent that my body fucking possesses, is to make you, myself, and us happy. Did your shirt get more and more open throughout this episode? It fucking did! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, okay. Uh, 
Are you good? You good? Is to make you fucking happy. And I will not change that for the world. I love you. This is episode 50. We fucking oh, killed time. this Iman, shit. We're going to finish this. We're going to finish these fucking Dos Equis. You ready? Go. Let's get it, man. Guys, genuinely and honestly, <laughs> thank you very, very much for tuning in to Break Time. Mm. All all episodes 1 through 50, we thank you for tuning in to Ooh. this episode with us. I fucking broke my favorite shirt. Dude. You're good. Sit down, bro. Sit down. We're almost okay. done. We're almost done. Right, we're almost done. Right. Yeah. Guys, thank you again very much for tuning in to this episode Fuck, with us. Thank you very much for spending time with us. Thank you very much to you guys who asked us questions and who made this drunk podcast possible. I appreciate the fuck out of it. Um, if we regret anything we said in the morning, fuck it. We're putting it up. Um, uh, if we cut anything out, it's so we don't get arrested. Oh, fuck. But, uh, Iman, is there anything you got to say to these great people before we end up this episode of Break Them? Hey, thank you so much for making this possible. Um, we love you guys. Uh, episode 50 was amazing. It, um, we'll see what happens in the morning, man. But like, like Alex is doing, applause. Applause to all of you who sent in questions. Applause to all of you who are watching. Applause and who to all of you who support us and shit. Who fucking support us, man. This means so much. Um, we're going to keep doing what we love for you guys because you keep doing what you do for you. And we got to support you. And we got to support the viewers. And this is fucking it. Episode 50, baby. We fucking did it. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in to episode 50 of Break Time. Your boy's got to piss. So we got to get going. But guys, thank you very much for tuning in. And we'll catch you next time <laughs> on the next episode of Break Time. Yeah!